Hello everyone. In this video I show you how to replace the flex cable with a new one on a Sigma 18 to 250 mm lens after the lens has been disassembled. Recently I had this lens with aperture problems. The aperture did not work and it was caused by a faulty flex cable. So I had to disassemble the lens, replace the flex cable with a new one and then assemble the lens. In this video I show you how to replace the flex cable with a new one. This video is part of video series about repairing the Sigma 18 to 250 mm lens. In the first video I showed you how to disassemble the lens. The second this video is about replacing the flex cable with a new one. And the last one is about assembling the lens. If you're interested in the other two videos, then the links are here or down in the description below. Before I would start, let me talk about the tools that I will use to replace the flex cable with a new one. I will use a PH30 screwdriver, a flathead screwdriver, a metal tweezers, a cutting pliers, a soldering gun, soldering iron, desoldering pump, and of course a new flex cable. If you are interested in buying them, then the links are in the description below. Thank you very much for watching my video. If you find that video useful, informative and adds value to you, then like it, share it, subscribe to my channel and consider donating. The links are in the description below. If you have anything to add to this video, then share it in the comment section below. So let's get started. This is the aperture unit of the Sigma 18 to 250mm lens. First remove the two smaller screws from the motor, then cut the flex cable next to the motor so it will be easier to desolder it. Remove the flex cable from its holder. Remove the remains of the flex cable from the motor. Use the soldering pump to remove the soldering iron from the aperture unit ring, then remove the remains of the cable.
Install the new flex cable on the motor first. Put back the motor with the two screws to the aperture unit ring. Remove the cover and stick the cable to the holder. Solder the cable to the aperture unit ring. Now we are done with the cable replacement, let's continue with the assembly of the lens. You can find the link to that video in the upper right hand corner or in the description below. Thank you very much for watching my video. If you find that video useful, informative and adds value to you, then like it, share it, subscribe to my channel and consider donating. Links are in the description below. If you have anything to add to this video, then share it in the comment section below. See you next time in another video.